Engine Adventures, Thomas. This story is about me, Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm the number one engine on Sodor. I love to have adventures and try new things, but some things are not meant for engines. Thomas the Tank Engine loved working on his very own branch line. Annie and Clarabelle were Thomas's coaches. Annie could only take passengers, while Clarabelle could take passengers, luggage and the guard. The coaches were old and needed new paint, but Thomas didn't mind. Annie and Clarabelle were very special. Thomas's favourite place along the line was the river. Each time he rumbled over the bridge, he would look out for people fishing. Thomas often wished he could stay and watch. What would the back controller say if we were late? said his driver. Thomas still thought it would be fun to stop by the river one day though. When he met another engine, he would say, I want to go fishing! But they all told him the same thing. Engines don't go fishing! One day, Thomas stopped as usual to take on water at the station by the river. But the water tower wasn't working. Bother! said Thomas. I'm thirsty! Never mind, said his driver. We'll get some water from the river. Thomas's crew found a bucket and some rope and Thomas puffed back to the bridge. The bucket was old and full of holes. The crew pulled up bucket after bucket and emptied water into Thomas's tank as quickly as they could. Splash! That's better, smiled Thomas. He puffed away with Annie and Clarabelle rolling behind. Suddenly, Thomas began to feel an ache in his boiler. Steam hissed from his safety valve. Whish! There's too much steam, said his driver. Bust my buffers, cried Thomas. The crew dampened down his fire and Thomas struggled on. I'm going to burst he said. Thomas stopped just outside the last station and his crew uncoupled Annie and Clarabelle. Then Thomas slid into a siding. The guard went to phone an engine inspector while the driver found some signs. He put them in front of and behind Thomas. Danger! Keep away! the signs said. Soon, the inspector and the back controller arrived. Cheer up, Thomas, they said. We'll soon put you right. The feed pipe is blocked, said the inspector, checking Thomas. I'll just look in the tanks. He climbed up and peered inside. Take a look at this, sir, said the inspector. So the back controller clambered up. He looked inside and nearly fell off the ladder in surprise. Inspector, he said, there are fish in the tank. <gasps> we must have fished them from the river with our bucket, said Thomas. So Thomas, you have been fishing, said the back controller. We must get those fish out right away. The crew all took turns at fishing in Thomas's tank while the back controller watched and shouted instructions. Thomas felt very funny with the fish wriggling and gigg giggling in his tank. When all the fish were caught, the back controller, the inspector and Thomas's crew had a lovely supper of fish and chips. That was delicious! The back controller told Thomas, but engines don't go fishing. You must promise not to do it again. I promise, sir, said Thomas sadly. Fishing is much too wriggly 